Appreciate it. Happy New Year 2010. Yeah, and car crashes, they are typically the number one killer of American teens. More than 5,000 teenage, teenagers die on American roads every year. That's according to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Even for teens that make typically good decisions, New Year's Eve can become a night of bad choices. From party hopping to excess alcohol to poor adult supervision, a New Year's Eve party might be a parent's worst nightmare. Something we don't want to hear for sure. But it can be done safe and done right. So Brian Hausman, our Good Morning Memphis parenting teens expert, joins me with more on uh, really why New Year's Eve is so deadly uh, for kids. I mean, what's, what's going on? Well, it, it is a hard time. Matter of fact, the um, American Highway Safety Council, they refer to New Year's Eve as amateur night night on the roads mm. because uh, there's so many crazy things that can happen particularly with teenagers out there um, even teenagers that typically make good choices end up making some foolish choices on New Year's because it's it's almost seen as a, um, a night of excess and a, a rite of passage night that I'm expected to go and do something out of the ordinary you know on New yeah. Year's Eve yeah and, and because teenagers they one of the biggest things they struggle with is their own emotional and, and social stability and mm -hmm. so there's so much pressure on teens that well I've got to hook up with somebody tonight you know I have to be with somebody tonight I can't be alone and so I got to be drunk exactly yeah. so they end up doing foolish things that even a good kid ordinarily wouldn't do what age group should parents really be concerned I mean we're talking about 15 year olds or even younger yeah well it's primarily your later teens uh -huh. those that everything changes in their life once they get their driver's license because yeah. they've got mobility Freedom. exactly mm -hmm. and so it's hard to keep tabs on what's going on once they get inside of the home but also not just your late teens, but for many parents out there, your college student is back home for the first time and they're thinking, hey, I've made good grades, uh, I've made it on my own this first semester, I can reward myself with a good New Year's Eve party. Yeah. And so a lot of times as parents, we think, well, now they're in college, I can stop parenting. But we forget, parent, you're the parent, it never stops. Yeah. So, what should parents do? I mean, you, do you like just take away the keys to the car, put them in the <laughs> attic, lock the door, put a <laughs> chain on it? That would be great if we, if we could do, leave if the law night. would allow us to do that. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, one of the things you can do is <laughs> if my kid comes to me, my 17 year old, and says, Dad, can I have a New Year's Eve party or can I go to someone else's house for a New Year's Eve party? My first choice is always, absolutely. I will, you be the host, I'll be the servant, and let's have the party here at our house, I would much rather them stay at home, bring their friends to our house instead of them get on the road for any reason whatsoever. So the first choice is, you know, have something at your house and also, or have a parent, I mean, a family event. You know, our family, the past three years, we go to another family's house where there's about 12 other families that all get together, 40 to 50 people. So it feels like a really big event, but every, everyone of all ages is there. And teenagers really aren't that concerned about, I've got to be with my own peers. They're just concerned about I've got to be doing something tonight I don't want to put on my Facebook I spent New Year's Eve alone you know at home and, and but some kids do not want to put on Facebook I'm was with my family <laughs> on New well, Year's that Eve. is true you know so one of the things you can do is just have healthy expectations if your kid is going to be outside the home you know talk with them about what you expect of them in terms of appropriate behavior on that night that there's not an excuse tonight that you can go and, and do whatever you choose just because it's New Year's Eve and so have a conversation conversation with them about what some good expectations and good boundaries are yeah. for that night. If you're not having anything, uh, let's say a party for your kid and your kid's friends, yes. and they want to go to their best friend Brian's house, um, yes. so should you attend that party and, and be one of the supervisors? Well, I, that, that's a great point, is that a lot of times parents will get together with other families mm -hmm. and, and coordinate and say, hey, you know what, and tell their kids, I'm going to be there, but I'm not going to be the parent tonight. Yeah. I'm just going to be in the background to make sure everything is okay and everyone is safe. And, and so that's one of the good things that parents can do is even if your teen's going to be at someone else's house, is just have healthy communication with the other host about what's going to go on at that house and what's going to take place. All right. So don't send them to Times Square, right? Even no, though, no, no. Uh, Bill yeah. and Hillary were there. Yes, yes. Yeah. Right. Well, there's some things that parents can do, you know, with your kid. Talk with them before sure. you go. Yeah, you know, that's know key. What, Exactly. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, know what your destination is going to be. Mm -hmm. You know, if you before your kid goes out just have a talk and say hey here's some things i want you to do yeah. know where you're going to be yeah you know don't accept drinks from someone else yeah. you know last year in america 
uh, college campuses, there are 50,000 alcohol-related sexual assaults on college Ooh. campuses. Right. And, Around and, this time of year or just yes. throughout, well, the throughout the year? Throughout the year. But wow. many of them happen at New Year's, New Year's yeah, because, yeah. you know, you sit down, you drink, and, yeah. it, and not just alcohol, but anything, you yeah. know, and so take a bottle of water with you. Much mm. harder for someone to get in, you know, put something in that. Mm. Uh, you know, once you get someplace, stay there. Yeah. You know, or if you're going to leave for any reason, call me. You know, if you're going to change locations, call me. You know, and above all, you know, look out for your own friend's safety as well. That's right. You know, right. If, you, if your kid is, is making sure that their friends are being safe, then they're much more likely to be safe themselves. All right, Brian Hausman, you heard it. So if you would like more information and tips on parenting, you can follow Brian Hausman on Facebook and receive his teen culture updates. Or you can also check out his book, Engaging Your Teen's World. We'll be right back.